Hello and welcome, my name is Parkins, today we're playing some more Plague Inc. Evolved. Today we're going to be looking at the official scenario of Volcanic Ash. We're almost at the end, look at this, we've only got two more after today. Massive volumes of volcanic ash are ejected into the atmosphere from major volcanic eruptions. The majority of flights worldwide are grounded, changing the way that people travel. Could this have a silver lining? Oh my god. Well, possibly. Today we're going to be playing as a Neurax Worm. Now the major reason I'm choosing the Neurax Worm again is because of Trojan Plains. Now obviously in this scenario, volcanic ash has actually grounded all the planes in the world, which means that people aren't going to be going to those sort of outlying nations or across the Pacific Ocean and all the other big gaps between the countries and continents, which means it's going to be a bit more difficult for us to spread our disease everywhere. So, the way I'm going to combat this is by using a Neurax Worm, as you probably guessed. In terms of the genetic codes I'm going to include, I'm going to probably stick with the ATP boost. Just get those few little points at the start, it's always very helpful. I'm also going to go for Aquasite. Now this is because obviously planes are down. Seems like more people are probably going to be travelling via sea, via boats. So it seems like a good idea to use this. We're also going to keep the Hydrophile because we're going to start in a humid climate. And Symptostasis always seems good. So let's carry on. We're going to be on normal again. And then we're going to call this one... I had the worm. <laughs> Welcome to the volcanic ash scenario. You're a new Neurax worm to win you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Select a start country. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for Saudi Arabia today. And let's just have a little look because I think I've got my head around the Neurax worm. We've seemed to have used the Neurax worm the same same plagues for the last few times we've tried to win these uh, scenarios. But it seems like these ones are good all round. So obviously we've got all the symptoms in here, probably going to lead on to Transcendence. This time we could do things a little bit differently, maybe killing off all the humans instead of making them worship the worm, which might make a little bit of a more interesting play style. We've also got the Concertia locomotion, obviously leading into all the other kinds of transmission traits, and the eggs, and everything else. So I think first of all we're going to go for Concertia and Undulatory, and then after that we might as well go for some eggs, but we don't have enough points for that yet. If we speed this up a little bit quickly, I heard the worm begins in Aus in Saudi Arabia, Homer said Australia. So we know about all this, thank you very much. There we go, got a few more points now, we're going to go for eggs 1 and eggs 2 instantly. This is going to help spread the disease, or the Neurax worm, into the brains of the unsuspecting victims of Saudi Arabia. I feel sorry for them. They are the epicentre of a horrific disease. Airplanes using new sterilisation air filters. New air filters are now being used to stop aeroplanes transmitting any disease between countries. Only advanced airborne diseases can survive on them. Well, normally that would be a big issue. Now, the reason I'm not too worried about that right now is because airplanes aren't being used as a form of transportation anyway due to the volcanic ash storm. So we don't need to worry too much, really at the moment. We are going to go for an early Trojan Plains this time. This is because if I am going to start spreading, I'd like to have the option to start spreading fairly quickly earlier on in the game. The Festival of Love in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia celebrates a festival of love. Fans praise the replacement for International Kissing Day. Critics question hygiene standards. Everyone's having dirty, dirty sex. <laughs> God, what's wrong with me? Okay, so we... Oh dear god. Uh, we're going to go for this, and then maybe we'll go for genetic swap, because this is going to increase the chance of mutation. Now I'm sort of going to go about this in a slightly different way. We are going to go for all the general symptoms this time. I think I'm going to go for maybe an early cold resistance. We could actually, if we get the opportunity with the Trojan Plains, uh, take this virus, it's not really a virus at all, take the worm on holiday, a nice little holiday into Central Africa first. Rich Tours demand site paywall. The group of Rich Tours, unsatisfied with their working conditions, have put forward a motion to require readers to subscribe to a paywall. Community fully supportive. I might open the newsfeed this time, because I feel as though maybe like we're missing lots of cool stuff. I never really... Oh my god, look at this. I mean, exactly, we miss all of these nice news stories that keep going by. Llama collecting is the new craze. Woman catches man flu. <laughs> Fantastic. We'll have to keep an eye on that because I do feel as though we miss out some of the humour of this game. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go straight for Insect 1. I know I said I was going to maybe go for the Cold Resistance early, but at this point in time I think the Insect is probably going to be more useful seeing as we just spread into Egypt. Egypt being the sort of gateway country into the African areas, it's probably going to be a good idea to put those mosquitoes down there. I would quite like an early drug resistance as well. If we can get 12 DNA points together, I think that might make a nice uh, impact to our game. I was just looking at the newsfeed again. What was that? <laughs> Tiny robot lands on comet. Confirms it is a comet. 
Good job, everyone. The world's really making progress in technology. Most expensive movie ever costs too much. <laughs> These are brilliant news stories. I feel as though we should definitely look at this more often. Okay, so let's close this down and carry on. So we got the drug resistance one there. That should help us push into the countries where they got a bit more uh, medical resistance to us. Well, we might as well go to Greenland. I don't reckon there's many drugs you can use to break down worms. Having said that, though... Oh wow, this Trojan Plains is really helping us right now. Might go for Brazil. But yeah, having said that, though, in real life, if you've got, like, a, a tapeworm, for example, I think there are drugs that you can take which, like, dissolve its body in... I, I have no idea. I've never really had a tapeworm. I hope. I mean, who knows? We could all have tapeworms. Disgusting. In a normal checkup, a doctor in Saudi Arabia found a new disease which has been named I Heart the Worm. It appears to be mostly harmless but must be investigated further. Other countries are also reporting this disease. Well, I should hope so. Okay, God, this Trojan Plains is definitely making a difference. I think we might go for Central Europe now because it seems like we're having a bit of problem getting in over there. We're also going to go for maybe something like water and then we could go for bird as well. Bird might help us spread early on into other countries. Saudi Arabia is now started working on a cure, so maybe we want to be a bit quicker in evolving these as soon as we have the points, because it does make a difference. If you hang around too long while you've got like a, a floating amount of uh, points that you can spend, it's not a good tactic in this game. Saudi Arabia shuts down land borders. Well, it's a good thing we've just evolved the bird symptom as well. We're going to go for Russia. Russia seems like a good country to go for. And then we're going to go for Air One. Now, because we've started spreading north, I think I'm going to go for an earlier cold one as well. Upgrade lets planes be infected again. The air transmission upgrade lets I Heart the Worm avoid the new air filters on the airplanes and spread between countries again. Well, it doesn't really matter anyway, because the amount of planes that are going on are not very high. So, let's get the cold resistance one, seeing as we're now in the sort of northern territories. And then we're going to probably go for... Should we go for rodent? We could do. Or maybe we should stick to water. I think water might be good. Ah, oh, we can figure it out in a minute. I Heart the Worm, just another parasite. Don't worry about I Heart the Worm. It's got such a lovely, friendly name. It's got a heart in it as well. Anything with a heart in the name is not going to be deadly. Well, I think we'll get the rodent, and we're also going to maybe get... What's it called? Where are you? It's mutative regeneration, 13 DNA points. I think that seems good. Scientist proves that I Heart the Worm could theoretically manipulate human thoughts to its advantage. More research is needed. Damn, they're starting to realise what we're all about. Okay, well, let's now send this over to America, because there's no one in America currently, which seems like probably quite an important step to take. Okay, so next up, I think I'm going to go for water too, because, again, we have to remember that the main method of transportation in this scenario is via boats, which probably is something I, pro I should have done earlier. But don't worry about it. I totally know what I'm doing, not. So the spread is actually starting to get quite large in South America, which is very good for us. We're also going to go for air too. Now, you might be like, well, hang on a minute. They're not using air, and that's a very good point. I don't know why I just bought that. So good job, Brain. You totally don't know what you're doing sometimes. We're going to go for Sweden, because those northern little areas on the... Uh, what is that? I, I know they call Italy the foot of Europe, because it looks like a boot. But then it's like, what is, what is this? The bad hipster hairstyle of Europe, I suppose. Because, of course, as a young guy, now everyone, you have to have it really long on top and short back and sides, else you're not cool. Because, you know, be generic like everyone else. Okay, let's go for some of these now. I think I'm going to go for all three of those secondary tier uh, transmissions for the animals and the insects. We might as well go for cerebral tendrils. And actually, I'm considering, should we go for cold... T I think we might go for cold too, as we've got the money for it. By money, I mean genetic material. That's cool. Right, okay, so we're starting to infect a lot more countries now, which is going to help us massively. I think we're going to go for a drug resist too as well. And then we've unlocked the ability to do a genetic reshuffle at some point if we want to. Which seems like a good idea. Is there anyone in Canada? Get out, Canada! God, what is going on? Okay, I think maybe we will start going for some countries, if there are any, which haven't been infected yet. It looks like we've got everything. Actually, the Caribbean doesn't have anything. Frontal mesh symptom mutated. I heard the worm has mutated and developed the frontal mesh symptom without using DNA points. Good, good. This is a lovely story. I think we might go for... Should we go for some more transmission traits? It's quite expensive, and I don't really know how much it's going to help us. We could go for the Transcendence soon, because it's going to make people adore the worm. It's got the Obsession, so probably everyone will be starting to collect earthworms. Yep, here we go. Reports are coming in from all over the world of an extreme obsession with collecting earthworms. Earthworms are not the worst thing in the world to collect. 
I mean, there's a lot of people who collect a lot of worse stuff than that. I can't really think of any examples. I was going to say STDs, but I'm not sure how appropriate that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what is wrong with me? USA has started to send research teams to infected countries, hoping to speed up development for a cure for I Heart the Worm. Pop blue bubbles to destroy their research. Okay, we're on 28% research speed, which is going to make it a bit more difficult for us. I think we're going to have to go for the transcendence soon, because it's going to stop people wanting to go and get cured, which is obviously a good thing for us. Bad thing for them. But is a life more worth living? under the influence of a worm in your brain, but it's still life, or being killed brutally? I think probably, actually that is a very difficult question, isn't it? Would you rather? Would you rather? It's like a bloody playground game right now. Normal life is in India is beginning to break down due to the I Heart of Worm. Cure research is starting to slow, we're on 51%, so I'm thinking maybe we should start pumping some money into the genetic reshuffles. I don't actually have enough for it of a problem. But yes, would you rather live a life loving a worm in your brain, or would you rather die a horrible death from projectile vomiting blood or whatever other horrible symptoms are in this game? I think I'd probably want... <laughs> that's the thing, like, would you rather live for the sake of living but not really be in control of yourself? Very interesting question. How many points do we need for this? We'll go for one genetic reshuffle just to push it back by about 10%. That seems good. People infected with the eye heart of worm are reporting visions of rapture and glorious new overlord species. Without a cure, life as we know it will be over. Oh dear. We shan't have actually looked at the newsfeed for a little while. Pakistan reports incidents of prank infections. Lovely. Prank infections, okay. So it's like, you ring the doorbell, and instead of like throwing eggs at the person who answers, you like cough in their face, and a little worm goes into their eye socket. Central America bans hats and headwear. Is that to allow the worms easier access into the brain? I suppose it must be. I like this. Sudan and Angola exterminated all birds. Not just like one species, just every single bird. There are no birds left in those two countries now. I don't really think that's how it works, you know, but it's okay. Don't, don't question it anymore. Perceptive jolt symptom mutated. I heard the worm has mutated and developed the perceptive jolt symptom without using DNA points. You know, I still don't even know what half these symptoms are. Is it down here somewhere? We've got confusion that's evolved. Perceptive jolt results in fever which disrupts host priorities and decision making. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So how many people are left in the world? Oh, thank you game for answering my question instantly. The last healthy person on the planet recently became infected with the I Heart the Worm. Look at this, we're doing very well. So it's only going to be a matter of time now as everyone loves the worm. I think that's it, yeah, the worm enslaves humanity. The game knows what it's on about. It's, it's answering my questions as I bring them up. Victory! The whole world... Oh, look at that chief. Complete volcanic ash. The whole world worships I Heart the Worm as their god and master. Efforts to cure the plague have ceased and humanity is entering a new dark future as a slave species. And we actually managed to get three biohazard bubbles on there, even though we got over 360 days. And the cure progress wasn't that great either. So, I don't know how we got three, but you know what, I'm going to take it. Don't question it, anyone. I did it. It's pure skill, okay? <laughs> well, if you enjoyed today's episode, please feel free to leave your support in the comment section below. Also, leave ratings and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.